Hey guys, welcome back. We are now getting into some of the top five of my favorite shoes. This one, there is so much information about because it was recently released around the end of last year of 2019. And so that's why it is just absolutely one of my favorites. This is the Nike Air Max 270 ISPA White Amber Rise. So you're probably sitting there thinking, what the heck is ISPA? And I'm here to tell you what it is. Um, ISPA, it stands for Inspire, Scavenge, Protect, and Adapt. Nike came out with the ISPA. It's basically in thoughts of most Nike shoes are basically only thinking of the athlete. And so when they came out with their ISPA line, it was a more of we're not just thinking about the athlete we're thinking about like the urban athlete so it was spearheaded by the nike sportswear special projects division um it's it is described as listening to the athlete but with a little bit of a twist so as you can see on the bottom sole it's got like these little ridges it's a very rugged wear for if you happen to be out in like bad conditions or anything it's waterproof i know of and it feels it's warm but breathable if that makes sense so i wear this this is normally my rainy day shoe i wear this in the rain because i know that my foot's not going to get wet i know my sock isn't going to get wet and but sometimes here in alabama the weather changes all throughout the day so it can be pouring down rain sunny and 83 within two hours this shoe it breathes it's not too hot it's not too cold it's just right it's um it's a lightweight shoe and like i said it repels water it's got the react cushioning on it the 270 bubble it adds some extra cushioning to it but anyway let's go check out and see how it looks on feet So when I got this shoe, I wasn't really thinking much about it. I didn't expect it to be to have as much meaning as it did when I first ordered it. So I looked at it, pulled it out of the box, and I was like, wow, this shoe is just, it feels like it's built really well. And then I wore it and wore it and wore it, and it doesn't seem to really show, like it shows a little signs of wear in the React cushioning. But other than that, it doesn't really seem like it shows a lot of wear and tear on it. It's got the rugged design on it, this mesh netting. It's supposed to mimic um, like construction zone netting. I don't know if you've seen it like construction zone fencing, the orange fencing. That's kind of what it's supposed to mimic just to keep your uh, foot secure, really. And um, like I said, the bottom grippers, it's out of that rugged traction because it's no slip, really. You're not going to slip and fall in these. But it is a great shoe. I definitely would recommend it. It's also got these little, um, on the back you can see, you know how sometimes jackets have the pull tabs on them? Well, on this one, it's got on the shoe so that you can pull it, make it tighter, make it loose. I really love this shoe. This is one of my favorites. I wear it, like I said, in the rain. And it's a good fashion shoe, too. They came out with two other colorways of this, a... Um, like an orangish, reddish, like a blood orange type color, and then all black. The black one is slick. It's sharp. I like it. I recommend getting that one. I recommend getting this one. I recommend getting them all because it's just, it's an overall cool shoe. And since it's getting so close to Air Max Day, we're going to put this one out here. So definitely check it out. Link below for where you can get it. Also, be sure to check out my Twitter, check out my Instagram. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow this for more. Hit that bell. Anyway, thanks, guys. Bye.